Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the issue of food waste. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Let's start off by thinking about the different types of food waste. Food loss is when food has to be thrown out before it reaches the supermarket shelves as it is deemed not good enough to sell. This might be because it has been stored poorly, packaged incorrectly or something has happened during transportation for example, fruit may be bruised or refrigeration hasn't worked properly. In some cases, it is down to aesthetic reasons, with supermarkets rejecting fruit and vegetables because they regard them as ugly. We then have traditional food waste. This is when food is thrown out by supermarkets or households, usually because it's reached its best before date. This is a huge problem in HICs, but not really such an issue in LICs and NEEs. So let's have a think about the extent of food waste. Around a third of food produced around the globe is either lost or wasted, with the figure in some high income countries much higher. For example, 40% of all food is thrown away in the USA. The USA, Canada, Belgium and Australia waste the most food per person. In the UK, we throw out around 9 million tonnes of food every year. One of the biggest wastes of food is produce that's rejected for cosmetic reasons. For example, vegetables that might be oddly shaped or fruit which has got blemishes on the peel that isn't even going to be eaten. But there are other reasons for food waste. Some of it is down to shops, supermarkets and restaurants over ordering products, so not being able to sell everything. Some of it is down to a lack of education about how to dispose of food waste, for example, supermarkets throwing waste straight into the bin when it could be donated to people in need, and a lack of understanding over expiration dates, meaning that food is either thrown out when it's still fine to eat, or it's allowed to go off before being used. Food waste in low-income countries is often due to poor storage and transportation, meaning that food deteriorates quickly after being harvested. This food waste contributes to food insecurity around the world. It also causes issues in terms of disposal, with most food waste ending up in landfill, which is expensive and it gives off high levels of methane as it decomposes, which is a greenhouse gas and contributes to climate change. It is also expensive for households too. On average, each household in the UK weighs £700 of food per year. One of the things that doesn't help food waste is a confusion around labelling, which often leads us to throw away food when it is still perfectly good enough to eat. But what do the different labels on our foods mean? The sell-by date is for the retailer and not the consumer, and it states when the product has to be sold by. This date doesn't actually mean that the product is no good after then, it usually has around a third of its shelf life left, so it is perfectly safe to buy and eat. We then have a use by date. This tells consumers when a product needs to be eaten by. Food is still safe to eat on its use by date, but shouldn't be eaten after unless it has been frozen. And finally, we have the best before date. This is about the quality of food and not safety. Once this date has passed, the food will still be safe to eat, but it might not be at its best anymore. Best before dates appear on a wide range of goods, including frozen foods, dried foods such as pasta and rice, and tinned food. There are a number of things that we can do to reduce food waste. Let's start off by thinking about reducing food waste at home. In the UK, 60% of food waste comes from households. At home, we can reduce food waste by pre-planning meals so we buy exactly what we need from the supermarket and we don't waste money on food that might not get eaten. We could also batch cook in bulk, freezing leftover portions to be eaten on another day and check the food in the fridge regularly so we know what needs to be eaten and when. Having a compost bin or heap in the garden also means that anything that does get thrown out will be recycled as a soil improver. Let's have a look at how supermarkets could reduce their waste. The Grocer magazine reports that supermarkets throw away 100,000 tonnes of food that's fine to be eaten every year, and that all of the UK's food waste could feed 30 million people, which is half of the UK population. 
Supermarkets have faced heavy criticism in recent years regarding the food that they waste and the need to educate their staff more about how to reduce food waste and carefully monitor their stock to ensure that everything gets sold and not thrown away. More recently, things have improved. Supermarkets regularly label products as reduced to clear, like you can see on the screen, in order to sell them instead of throwing them away. They also sell at discount products which have been damaged in transit, such as tin goods which are dented. And they have started to sell ugly or wonky veg at a cheaper price than regular produce. Finally, most supermarkets now donate surplus food to charities and organisations such as food banks and those that support homeless people. So let's finish off the video by thinking about how we reduce food waste on farms. There's a significant amount of food wasted at the point of growth. Sometimes this is down to bad weather or sometimes it is not harvesting crops on time or storing them poorly. Farmers can now invest in new technology that enables them to monitor how their crops are growing so they know the perfect time to harvest them, which reduces the risk of them spoiling. They can also increase the number of retailers they sell to, which will reduce the risk of having leftover produce, as well as thinking carefully about when they schedule their growing, but also composting anything that is wasted on site so they can use the wasted food as a natural fertiliser to return nutrients to the soil. That concludes this tutor to you topic video focusing on the issue of food waste. Thank you for watching.